How's it going, everyone? And we're back today with another Hot Toys review of the amazing Spider-Man figure. This is the Andrew Garfield version of Spider-Man from the first Amazing Spider-Man movie. Not many people were a fan of this uh, movie. I, I liked it because I thought, well, actually, a lot of people weren't fans of the costume either, but I actually liked it. I like a more realistic take on characters, and this costume, for me personally, was a more realistic version of Spider-Man. It looked like a costume you could have ordered and custom printed online. So that's what I liked about it. I liked the texture of the costume. I like how it wasn't, uh, how it was kind of a, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like it looked more real to me. I guess it was the texture and the fabric. I like the box art design of this, how it's not perfectly even. It's a really cool uh, design choice. And you got some cool box art as per usual with Hot Toys. Pictures of the figure itself showing off how impressive it is. And then here's the first look at the figure. And this figure has been opened before by me. First look at the figure right out of the box. And as you expect, this figure doesn't come with many accessories. Uh, Spider-Man just doesn't really have much to do. He doesn't have a lot of things that he uses, really, other than himself and his powers. I bought this uh, on uh, either Macari or eBay, and so I was missing one of the webs. Usually it comes with four different webs, so you have where they can uh, hook onto the arms between the hand and the wrist with these metal rings. And this is like a, just, you know, web shooting out basically with the ball at the end kind of like i forgot what they're called but there's a name for it um, and then you have the web lines so this one connects to the wrist as if he's shooting out a web and then these two are just web lines that he can hold on to one of the hand pieces here this one right here so you can barely see the hole right there between the fingers and what you do is you take this end of the web and you push it into that hole and then you have Spider-Man, or you can have Spider-Man swinging on a web. And it works like so. Or as if he just landed, however you want to do it. So moving onward to the hands then. You have the classic Spider-Man web shooting hands. And just to note, I did modify this since I bought it. I added more texture. I did the dry brushing technique to add grit and with black paint. So mine will look a little bit different from yours, depending on where you buy it from and what condition yours is in. Uh, mine will probably look darker and more dirty because I was the, I just, like I said, I prefer this version of Spider-Man, the costume, because I like a grittier, more realistic approach to characters. So that's why I personally like this. So I wanted to add more dirt and grit to the costume to make it look like he's worn this for a while. Um, but even without that, you can see there's texture on the gloves, uh, and that's sculpted texture. It's not printed all these holes. Those are actually sculpted texture. And it's kind of impressive how they're able to get that glove pattern on such a small scale figure. The wall crawling hands, of course, with various texturing. So you really get a good look at the gloves. Um, and then the head sculpt, you have Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. And again, I did modify this. So I added all of these extra markings right here are added by me. The only one by Hot Toys is these three scars right here for the lizard. I added everything else in terms of the blood just to make it look more like uh, the part in the movie when it was going down into the sewer after the school fight. Yeah, I think the likeness is pretty good. People say this doesn't look quite like Andrew Garfield. I think it, it, I think it does. Like I recognize Andrew Garfield in this head sculpt, especially from certain angles like this. Now, when you go to the side, maybe not so much. I could see that certain angles, like half of the side angle, like it kind of lose the likeness a little bit. But from the front, definitely, I think this looks like Andrew Garfield. Could it be a little bit better? And is this an older figure? Yes. I'm sure Hot Toys could do an even better job now but I still think it's pretty good compared to any other version of this created by a toy company. And you guys just a standard stand. So here we have the figure of Spider-Man himself. 
um, quite a bit of detail, starting up with the masked head sculpt here. Um, like I said, I modified this figure so yours may not have the same level of grit and contrast that mine has. Um, but just going based on what we're looking at right now, you know, I added more contrast to the eyes, eye pieces. Um, but all in all, I mean, I love how they made the mask an actual rubber material like the rest of this suit because it just gives it so much more realism. You got the wrinkles, just like in the movie. And that's what I like about this costume. It's loose enough to where you see the wrinkles. It feels like a real suit. It doesn't feel like CGI, like a cartoon. Um, it's actually fabric on here, which is awesome, you know? Um, instead of doing a plastic head sculpt, they actually went for all fabric, which is amazing. It's so awesome that they did that. Um, kind of a double chin when you do this pose, unfortunately, but you can kind of just play around with it. These are like plastic pieces for the eye parts, and there's actually details, hexagon-like details on the eyes, which is cool. And then as you go down, you can kind of see the seam where the head sculpt, you can interchange it with a different head sculpt, unfortunately, but it's not bad. I mean, it's not that noticeable. Um, I think it works. And then going down, just look at the detail on the chest. It's pretty amazing. All the, the spider symbol, how intricate it is, the webbing, and it's not flat. It actually has raised uh, texture to it. And a spider symbol on the back, just such great detail. It's amazing how they're able to do this. They even have the seam that's accurate to the movie on the head and all of that stuff. You have the nice pattern here for the arms and the shoulder, even the small pattern here on the arm, the forearms, the webbing patterns. You have the web shooters there, which are plastic pieces, the hands, of course. And then they have all these line patterns on here, which are really nice. The blue is, even has the textured pattern like in the movie, which looks amazing. I added more grit on all of these parts. And then on to the feet and the kind of like the boots, I guess you could call them. Um, you got some nice textures that are accurate to the movie. You even have details on the bottom of the shoes, which is really cool. They didn't even have to do that, but it looks awesome. Um, but like I said, that Hot Toys always blows me away, so I expect them to do that. Like if that's in the movie, that's going to be on the figure. So now let's see what this looks like with the Andrew Garfield head sculpt. And so here we have the Andrew Garfield head sculpt and on the Spider-Man body. And I think this looks amazing. I think this looks like he did in the movie. So I can understand the complaints from the side profile. It doesn't quite look like him, but definitely from the front, especially with certain lighting and shadows. Overall, I think this looks awesome. And so on to articulation, starting with the head, you can move the head forward about that far and back about that far, side to side, of course it can come off. So that's about the extent of the head movement. And then the shoulders, this is why I like this figure in particular. Yeah, you can damage the suit as I've kind of done with the wrinkles when you kept it, keep it posed a certain way for a long time, but I don't know. I like how posable this figure is. And I don't know, that's just me. I, yeah, the fabric, you know, it can wrinkle over time if you keep it in the same pose. But some people prefer to do the museum pose, which they can. I don't mind it. You have double, joint, uh, double jointed uh, elbows here, which is awesome. That's what you would expect. I love how flexible this figure is because the costume just provides so much more you can do. So yeah, you can bend the figure almost 90 degrees. And then back pretty far actually. And you can twist pretty far because the suit's very flexible. And I like how it gets the wrinkle effect, just like in the movie makes it look more real. So all this is loose. Uh, of course the hands are just standard. 360 forward and back, ratcheted joints, the hips, and go about almost 90 degrees with the leg and back, not too much. Oh, yeah, and the arms can go up about 90 degrees actually, too. The knees are also double jointed, which you would expect a Spider Man, so you can get the Spider Man pose. 
which is what I had for a while, which is why the knees are wrinkled now. So you can have the classic Spider-Man pose. As far as the, uh, the feet, uh, the boots kind of restrict it a little bit. You can go about that far forward and that far back, that far sideways. I wouldn't push it too much. And actually, this comes off, but I'm gonna probably just take it on it, actually. I just realized one of the joints is loose. I'll have to fix that. As far as articulation for the unmasked head sculpts, can go back about that far, forward about that far, side to side, 360. Yeah, it's kind of hard. You don't have too much. You can't really look too far over this one. And even the boots have fabric that's movable on them, which is interesting. So I love Hot Toys dedication to accuracy and just how they made the entire figure with this rubbery like fabric. That's awesome. Even with the mask, it's just amazing. It just amazes me. And so if I wanted to attach the webbing, I would remove this hand, take the webbing with the ring on it, put it around the peg for the hand, for the wrist, then take the classic Spider-Man pose hand, put that over that. Then you have him shooting a web. You can kind of try to line it up a little bit better. So then you can have Spider-Man spraying his web. So what are my overall thoughts on this figure? Um, I think this, I mean, Spider-Man's one of my favorite superheroes, uh, my childhood hero, the one that got me into comic books and well, I guess Marvel movies more, specifically about the Tobey Maguire version of Spider-Man. And then, you know, I was about an adult when this one came out or somewhere around there. And, you know, I think this is a cool version. I think, you know, I like the Dark Knight and stuff like that. I never, I'm not comparing it too much to that, but they were kind of going for a more grounded approach like that with this version of Spider-Man, and at least in the first movie. And I like that. I like the way the costume looks. I like how it's a more realistic version. Other people don't. I think it looks awesome because that's just what I'm interested in. Um, the texture and everything. Uh, the style is more modernized style. We would expect a teenager in high school to kind of make or design, I guess. Yeah, overall, I love the flexibility of this character in terms of the positives. I'm glad this figure came with the head sculpt. I think the intricacy of the suit is really well done. The fact that they made the whole thing with the rubber material is amazing. They didn't have to. They could have, of course, with, well, without the hands, of course, but they could have made like the head skull, for example, with the mask out of a plastic sculpt and without any fabric, but they actually chose to do the rubber material. And same for the boots. They could have made that out of sculpted plastic too. And they chose to do all fabric instead um, or whatever material they're using. And I'm glad that they did. I mean, I like the other positive I would say is the webbing, the variety of hands to get more than you would expect. And the fact that, like I said, it came with an unmasked head sculpt. I think the only negatives for me is that when you push the fabric into a pose for too long, you know, you get those wrinkles that you can see on it. Some people see that as a negative. I can see it as a negative kind of, but at the same time, since I like the realistic look, to me, the, the wrinkles actually just add more to the realism and grittiness. So to me, it doesn't, not really too big of a problem because I kind of wanted to have that rough look. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, and other negatives, I mean, I feel like maybe a little bit more with the webbing, maybe make some of the webbing longer because when you have them posed with holding the webbing, it looks kind of ridiculous because it doesn't go up very high. Maybe there's some type of creative way to create like a long rope of webbing or something. I'm sure there's something that could be done. Maybe the head sculpt of the Andrew Garfield could have been a little bit better, the unmasked one. Maybe the likeness could be better done now. But then again, as far as you looked in the movie, it's pretty close. I think the only other thing I wish is maybe it came with a little bit more accessories. For example, why didn't they include the backpack? They could have, you know, easily included a backpack since he's in high school. There, he was even walking around with the backpack when he had his costume on. They could have included other things like maybe the lizard formula, Peter's journal with that, the algorithm they used on it. Uncle Ben's, you know, his uh, satchel-like thing. And maybe that's going a little too far with the satchel, but 
even then with the unmasked head sculpt why didn't they include some glasses they i know they can make glasses where they can go on and off the head sculpt so that would have been really interesting maybe even like a watch i don't know go crazy i'm just trying to think outside the box and all the other accessories they could have included because remember spider-man's in high school he had a camera he had a skateboard he had a backpack he had so many different things you know like you see them do with marty mcfly but why don't they do that with this spider-man figure now with the amazing spider-man 2 figure they did because of course he had more things to use in the movie i wasn't too big a fan of that movie or the accessories with that figure they're just kind of too cartoonish for me but anyways that's about all i can say about this figure uh, it's uh definitely up there maybe in my top 10 top five maybe i don't know hard to say definitely recommend it i wasn't sure about picking up this figure either it was kind of it's hard for me to justify spending that kind of money on a figure that doesn't come with many accessories it's really just a figure if you think about it you know yeah hands but that's part of the figure so really the only accessories are the webs which even then i'm not i still think it'd be improved a little bit which is better than nothing but yeah so i think for the price uh, the price might be a little high for how little this figure comes with but then again the detail and the craftsmanship and the overall just quality of this figure is pretty high up there so then again it's hard to say so yeah i think it's a good figure let me know what your thoughts in the comments below Thank <laughs> you.